Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2CTV, the most watched news channel from the United Kingdom. We have some good news and bad news in the first live update for you guys. Uh, good news for alternative media and bad news for the corporate-backed lamestream media. Let's get on with the show. Before we start, uh, don't forget on the 13th of March, only a few days to go, we have our 400,000 subscribers party uh, at 7 o'clock in Manchester. If you want to find the details, the link is in the description. Although, I'm saying that, by the time we have the party, we might get half a million. We're already on 413,000 subscribers. Again, a couple of thousand new subscribers over the last uh, a day or two. Uh, this is actually about what's been going on with the media. Talk TV have decided to give up their platform on uh, the Ofcom television, uh, their license. Uh, uh, and this is actually quite interesting. I'm going to give you all the gossip, all the details of what's actually been going on over the last few months and uh, how everything is actually changing. Now, um, Talk TV is such a huge machine empire of media up to a point where not many people know exactly who's in charge of what. Some people still think Talk Sports owns Talk TV. Some people believe their rate Times Radio owns Talk TV. No, it's, it's, they're all their own entities owned by News UK and Rupert Murdoch, who owns also a number of newspapers. Uh, it's not necessarily Talk Sports or Times Radio that owns Talk TV. Uh, they've decided to uh, give up their platform because nobody was watching it. Um, over the last few months, this is where the gossip comes in. Over the last few months, I've had a lot of meetings. I've been approached, approached by people in the corporate media, Talk TV guys, GB News people, and a couple of others as well, uh, asking my advice. They were wondering why our channel is doing so well, what they should do to improve. The problem they have is that uh, Talk TV have decided to give up, obviously, TV as a platform, and they've decided to just follow our footsteps to go with YouTube and alternative media, basically online streaming. I, I just checked, by the way. Right now, well, earlier I was checking, their live show on YouTube is getting about 583 people watching. Um, and that's not really just the beginning. Obviously, the beginning of our live stream is about 1,000, as you can see, and it goes up. And in average, each show that we do on Twitter TV gets about minimum 100,000 views. Uh, and obviously, over time, much more. They don't know how we do things. They think it's simply about the platform. They think if they just continue to do what they were doing on TV, if they just copy and paste it on YouTube, for example, it's going to work. It's not going to work. The reason they failed on TV is the same reason they will fail on online streaming services. I mean, this is evidence that we showed you the other day uh, when it comes to all of them. Fox News, CNN, BBC, every single one of them are down uh, year on year, minus 16%, 7.8%, 15.7%, 14.5%. 2CTV year on year, same data, 70.15% plus we've actually gone up. And there are also other number of uh, independent news media outlets as well that are doing similar. Uh, uh, most of the alternative media, by the way, are not really news channels. Uh, most of them are either political commentary or podcasts. That they're not really delivering you the daily news. But some do, obviously. And we are all doing well. The reason we are doing well is because we don't have the complications and the analog brain that the, the media guys have. GB News, for example, are owned by, well, they're backed by big financial backers. Uh, Talk TV owned by a corporation. They're, they're all restricted. Nobody knows who's in charge anymore. This is where we are. We also have a statement in this video from Talk TV, by the way, about these changes, which I'm going to bring you in a second. But I also put uh, in the live chat, and I'm going to get your reaction as well, by the way. In the live chat, I mentioned there's a big announcement. An update on our progress. 2C TV Plus, the new platform that's going to be launched there alongside, obviously, the, the YouTube channel itself. We only have only a few weeks to go, guys, uh, with the new channel, with the new website. We have a new studio that's now being built as we speak. Everything that we've achieved is thanks to you guys. Everything we've achieved is by, by me being trying to be independent, not bow down to corporate money or any financial backing or anything like that. Everything is actually being built from scratch. And that's why it took a long time. Because I, I, could, I could have had an opportunity to say yes to a lot of big money, but I didn't want to be owned or controlled by anybody. But we are now doing it. Big announcement is actually I can now give you some information about the upcoming shows on 2CTV before we go to the statement we have from Talk TV itself about the future of 
TV, which is death. Show number one <clears throat> will be a debate show called Break It Down. Um, I think I've already leaked that, unfortunately. Uh, that's going to be hosted by the former producer of this channel, Lacey Butcher. And that is going to be a weekly show. And uh, we're going to have guests from different parts of the political spectrum uh, to discuss issues in a new and civilized way. Usually on TV, they give you about five minutes, ten minutes to clash, to just shout at each other. This is going to be more detailed in a more civilized way. We're actually going to start the debate using the common ground civility and then you actually find the differences between each side a second show is going to be called context context is going to be basically a weekly interview show with all the big thinkers uh, around the world and big uh, political figures cultural figures and obviously in terms of social issues and everything else uh, i'm going to announce who's going to be hosting that at some point very soon um, and we have the the third show which will be due process i think i can you can imagine what this one is it's going to be about law. We're going to have law on Twitter TV. Uh, I think most of you can guess who it is because I think I'm already hinted at uh, my good friend, uh, a very good barrister who comes on the channel regularly. He has a lovely long hair uh, who's going to be hosting a, a law show. This is going to be about a number of things. A weekly show um, going to be about explaining the latest political legal issues and debunking the claims from the media for example the icj court case with israel is a good example uh, and uh, of course explaining constitutional law and everything else can have different short segments for that as well and finally pint and politics oh yes this is going to be our um, i think it's going to be every two weeks something like that our podcast uh, with the whole team around uh, which I mean, again that's kind of simple we're going to drink a pint and talk about politics and cover all the issues this is why they're failing they don't have the creativity they still want to copy and paste uh, the corporate media what they've been doing on tv the boring format and uh, then that's what happens echo chamber have a couple of people just talk about the same thing over and over and over again it's completely boring let's look at the statement from talk tv about their downfall uh, from uh, scott taunton uh, spinning the shutdown as a shift to YouTube. This is a statement published by Guido. Thank you to those of you who were able to join our town hall earlier. I wanted to recap what I discussed and ensure that anyone who missed it is up to date. I firstly want to thank all of you for what we have achieved to date. Uh, two years ago, we set, out, we set out to create a new voice in television news and opinion and to build a new broadcast capability to break news and highlight journalism from around all of our brands, reaching new audiences and bringing in new revenues. <clears throat> no revenue. Launching Talk TV, we invested in professional equipment, galleries and studios in the news building, and we hired a team of talented people, journalists from across our news brand, our frequent contributors to our live TV output and video clips are repurposed on social and streaming, amplifying the reach of those stories. <clears throat> okay. We have broken hundreds of stories and broadcast thousands of exclusive interviews and compelling debates. Technically not, because those stories have been broken by their newspapers like The Sun or The Times. They've just been broadcasting it on Talk TV. Talk has built a recognizable brand that is attracting over 40 million views online each week. You know, it's because of the short clips, by the way. We can all be rightfully proud of what we have created and of our professional and high quality output. Continues by saying, it is obvious to all of us that uh, for majority of people, news consumption is shifting online. People are checking the news via their smartphones and the highest consumption of Talk's content is already online and growing. Uh, the only consumption, basically. Two years ago, we would not have been brave enough to launch a, a, a channel without a linear presence, but audiences of all ages have moved fast and smartphones are now the primary device when news is consumed. We need to adapt uh, to this as a priority. We are therefore intending that talk comes off linear television from early summer and our focus will be on streaming. <coughs> okay, so... Is a good spin, good spin. Obviously, they've given up their license on actual television and Ofcom um, platform to copy and paste what they're doing on YouTube, for example. Yeah, good luck. 
While Linear TV has been a good marketing and awareness window for talk, not really, uh, we now need to focus our investment on where the eyeballs are and where the revenues are in growth. In order to be successful, we need to prioritize being where the audience uh, audiences are rather than asking them to come to find us down the channel and all the usual stuff that they're basically talking about. They still don't understand. All of them, by the way, it's not really just about Talk TV or News UK. It's about all of them. They don't understand it. They think we just go where the audience is and they're just going to watch us. Do you realize how many channels there are on YouTube? <laughs> Do you realize that's not why they're not watching you? It's the format. It's the presenters. It's the spin. It's the echo chamber. You don't get it. He finishes by saying that news studios will produce both short-term bite-sized content well, BBC is doing that too, fail, for immediate consumption, as well as long-form news edited for uh, on-demand viewing. <laughs> we have some exciting plans and news studios will become the home of original programming for all our brands. We have the opportunity to be the best in the industry given our highly professionalized infrastructure and our skilled teams, as well as our funnel of world-class journalism and story. This is actually embarrassing because they do have an empire of and, and an army of producers and journalists and presenters and everything else very very professional right but from the corporate media from the legacy media days and they are boasting about the fact that we have expensive studios and infrastructure and all and you wonder why they're not watching you despite all that and more people are watching me and other independent media outlets despite lack of effort <laughs> People want organic, people want just transparency and authenticity. They don't care if you have a nice plant in the corner. Although, I think people care about uh, William Gladstone next to me, my co-host on a daily basis. Having said that, this is what's going to happen now, right? And they're going to go away. They're going to continue their spin. Again, it's not really me just targeting Talk TV as a News UK brand. Every single one of them are doing the same thing. What was it? BBC Three? One of the channels? A while ago, decided to go online, and then they went back to TV. Then they, they went back to online. Nobody's still watching it. It doesn't matter if it's online or offline. <laughs> That's not the problem, you idiots. Um, of course, this is the problem that we continue to face. And uh, this, that's why, as I said, when they've been coming to me for advice, but they still have the arrogance of, for example, trying to trying to compete with me and other independent channels. Now, why did you get my advice if you guys are all professionalized, if you have the high infrastructure? <laughs> oh, dear. We are where we are with these guys. They're, they're never going to learn, right? Um, I'll get back to the uh, the announcement as well, by the way, if you joined us later. More information will be announced in a few minutes about 2CTV+. Plus. Uh, easy. 007, thank you so much for your super chats. So saying authenticity is key and Ofcom is the problem. Exactly, spot on. So YouTube, any platform has restrictions and regulations. We also have regulations like Ofcom, but on YouTube that we have to follow. That's just common sense. That's just, even if you disagree with the guidelines, you just have to work around it or work with them um, because this is a platform that they've been giving me to hire to have exposure and it's really helping. But they have set of rules. And if you set up a channel, you've agreed to the rules. Don't complain about it afterwards. That's the issue. Um, and, and it's still difficult. We still have restrictions, like Afghan, but on very different levels. We still have more freedom. We still have our independence. And especially when we launch the, the new platform, the new website, 2CTV uh, and 2CTV+, Plus, which will actually give us even more freedom uh, <clears throat> to be independent. Super chat from P Peter Green. I first uh, found your channel when you only had a couple of thousand subscribers. Ah, you've told me as it is and made no bones about your own bias. That's why you're kicking butt. Yeah, this is the problem. So the media are trying their best to say, we're, we're not biased, right? We're very impartial. And they think people have a problem with bias. People have no problem with bias as long as you're honest about it. People pr have a problem with lack of honesty and transparency. The whole point of this, every time I do a news story, a report, we give the facts, then I add my opinion, and everybody knows my biases and, and my, my leanings and, and every issue. Following that, obviously I get your opinion and you shape your own view. Don't even let me tell you what to think. And I never try to do that anyway. But those guys are trying to be pretending to be impartial and then they, they use manipulative methods to get their biases in anyway. That's why people don't trust them. Everybody knows 
about my opinion on certain things. So no one's going to accuse me of saying, oh, Maya, you're hiding something. I'm not hiding. I've just told you what I want. Mass deportations. <laughs> Lone Star says, I remember Maya being 800 subscribers. I don't remember that. I thought when I was born, I already had 50,000. I'm kidding. Uh, they, those are the bad. They do not watch the old videos. They're very cringy. <clears throat> Mark says, you're dead right, Maya. I love uh, Julia Harley Brewer, Mike Graham and others, but I can't bear the format. I like, uh, I like news without glitz and spin. I've not watched talk or GB news in a while. But again, they think they have to just throw around all the infrastructure and all the, you know, the, the glittery stuff and everything else. And they have to have a meeting before a meeting and after a meeting about how they're going to report the breaking news. You saw last night, for example, I had to just get myself around, get the facts ready, few minutes, Arrange a live stream, bring you guys the news. Sat here with you guys, talk to you guys directly. We discussed the breaking news that was happening. That was it. I don't have to go through bureaucracy. I don't have to go through some sort of weird like lawyers and all the nonsense and then sit here with a suit and tie and say, good afternoon, welcome, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I just usually go with blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Uh, Rich T says, great channel, facts, not fiction. Uh, keep all the good work and common sense tells you. Uh, mainstream media lies, lies, lies. Oh, as I say, the lamestream media. Mikhail says, you're a Zionist. So there's usually apostrophe and E at the end, by the way. That, you're, that makes no sense. You are a Zionist. Uh, I'm not Israeli, so I can't technically be technically a Zionist because Zionism is Israeli nationalism. I'm a British nationalist, but I'm a supporter of all nationalist movements, including Zionism. And anybody who is in favor of self-determination in every country. If the Palestinians came out tomorrow and say, we just want our country, we just want peace next, next door with the Jews, I'll be in favor of that as well. Are they saying that? No, they're not advocating for peace, are they? Anyway, Mama says, you are hiding the truth. Well, give me a list of truths and I will let you know if I've been hiding it. Or I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> uh... The trolls have woken up early today, haven't they? <laughs> oh no, there's already a debate about that guy who talked. He said, I'm, I'm a Zionist. They say that as some, some sort of insult. It's like the left wingers when they see a, to a conservative, for example, and say, you're a Tory. Yes, he's a Tory. He's a member of the Conservative Party. <laughs> Alex says, Maya, I've been uh, listening to you for four years. Uh, you had about 100,000 subscribers and uh, because you're a genuine chap. Uh, my main news source since 2020 legend thank you very much um <laughs> you're a legend Fred. it was um i try living up here in bradford good luck in bradford guys paul says they're, they're all controlled opposition they are genuinely free it will always be targeted and inevitably silenced talk tv uh, grew because of uh, well they stood against corporate media but they were always corporate media by the way but i know what you mean but is now corporate media. So the issue that we have is they pick and choose certain topics. And for example, I heard from both people at GB News and Talk TV that they banned certain people, even as guests, for example, Tommy Robinson. They wouldn't have them. That is being selective. I've invited every single person, regardless of their views. If they don't want to come, like Owen Jones, it's not my problem. Uh, but you have to have discussions, you have to have debates and conversations. Singapore Auditor, thank you so much, saying uh, we love 2CTV here in Singapore. And also we're a global channel. <laughs> Something these people never understand. <clears throat> we have an anti-patriot in the live chat, guys. Go for him, says the UK is an asshole. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Loser. <laughs> Even though they're trying to bring it down. Sam says, I watch from Australia. Love your content and delivery. Well, thank you, Australia. Uh, Sarah says, Nigerian perspective. Honest news. Please do an interview with him. Well, I can try. I'll put it down on, on the list as well. You guys have been suggesting so many people recently. The, the list is growing and growing. Oh, we got another one. The Great Danton says, The Zionists are behind the destruction of the UK and US. Wake up. <laughs> I do love it when people are just sitting in their living room on their bedrooms and go on like blogs and stuff and they think they've discovered the truth about the world. If the plots and conspiracies were so easily discovered, <laughs> life would be different. If you, as a random person in a bedroom 
or in a basement think you've discovered it. They're either very bad at conspiracies, the deep state and all those guys, because they did a whoopsie, you found out, or this is what they want you to find out. Think about it. <laughs> the conspiracies are not that easy to be discovered. Deep conspiracies, you know, the aliens. <laughs> Do not start the alien discussion. I'm not doing that again. I'm not Matt Walsh. <laughs> Although Matt Walsh was supposed to come on the channel a while ago. I need to chase them up, by the way, from a Daily Wire as well. Obviously, when we go to the US to report uh, the US elections for you guys, uh, hopefully uh, we'll be meeting some of those guys as well. Friends of 2CTV from America. Why are people talking about football fans? I'm very confused about this. Uh, wow, I've seen 2CTV, this is TV from the start. Even I haven't been watching my own videos. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Angel of Death says, Owen Jones is such a nutter. Honestly, he needs to leave the UK if he hates it so much. They can't live without it. This is the problem, right? So, as I said, the announcement from Talk TV about uh, going back to the actual main point, uh, about uh, them leaving the traditional TV, linear TV, and their Ofcom platform, because they've been looking at us and others saying, I think the reason 2CTV is doing well is because they're just on YouTube. They think, they think that's, that's the magic. They don't know how many people have been, tried, have been trying to do this on YouTube, on Rumble, or any other platform. It's not just being present. It's about the fact that how you do news and how you do... It, they literally, all the shows are the same. GB News, Talk TV, Channel 4, all of them. And you just click. 3 p.m., there's a talking head talking about, I don't know, rainbow toilets, some sort of woke story. 4 p.m., another talking head. The face changes. Same topic again. 5 p.m., talk. There, there are two people now sitting next to each other. Ooh, multiply. Talking about the same rainbow toilet. It's the same thing. Every half an hour. It's getting boring. That, that's just one issue. There's so many of the problems that they have. They can't fill in the time because they promised the world 24-7 news. <laughs> and they just have to repeat the same. If they genuinely did 24-7 or even like, I don't know, 12 hours, 9 hours, there's so many news stories that they could just focus on, instead of just focusing on three or four, they just repeat the three and four stories every single half an hour, which gets really boring. The, the busy days we had on TCTV, some days we have about 10 stories or something like that, and we just have to spread around the day. They could actually do 10 stories, sometimes even more. Focus on the actual problems, societal issues, uh, cultural issues, political issues. There's so much happening around the world, they don't really want to care. Did they actually report on the Telford protests a few weeks back, uh, when we went there about the... The victims of the grooming gangs and everything else. No, of course not. They don't care about any of that. There will be sometimes some good presenters on some of these channels rarely focus on real issues. But it's not really about the, the good presenters because, you know, you have a couple of good presenters on each TV. It's about the wider model. It's the whole company that are failing. This is why they're failing. The numbers are going down. They don't know why. They think you just have to move things online. That's not why you're losing audience. You are already online. Look at Talk TV again. 583 people watching live. That's, and that's going to be the whole figure. At the end of it, you can actually go and list of the lives. At best, they get 1,000 or maximum 2,000 people watching. At the end, after hours. They will never reach our numbers, 100,000, sometimes 200,000. And other channels as well, by the way. They don't get it. So, what else can I leak about 2CTV Plus, guys? So, <laughs> we gave you the, the, the shows, right? Um, the studios... Okay, I'm not going to give you empty promises, but I think it's going to be, in the words of Donald Trump, beautiful. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're going to have different segments, different corners in the studio as well. Um, and we are actually launching it alongside a few other known and uh, popular alternative media voices and faces. Uh, they're going to have their own uh, shows as well from the same studio. It's going to be shared amongst the different shows, different segments. Um, and... Uh, the good thing about that is that we can actually have a couple of people, a few more people that we're hiring um, to actually help us with the website, uh, with the actual news section of the website rather than just videos, and then following that an app, hopefully. That way, you can actually have a website and, a, and an app and YouTube, 2CTV and others. You can actually just focus on that and get your news there, and you can actually interact with people as well. We have a chat forum and everything else, which will be announced as well. That, that way you don't have to worry about 
even having BBC News on your apps uh, to get the notification. Because people still have uh, BBC News as an app just for the notifications, for breaking news. But hopefully, when we build everything up, we're going to have that as well as part of our platform. Uh, let's go back. <coughs> Angels of Death says, you usually reach around 3,000 views on your usual streams, uh, but on big streams, like obviously the Tommy stuff and the war coverage, you reach around 6,000 to 9,000 on one of your streams. And that's, that's the, the thing with that is that that's usually the peak during the live. Afterwards, obviously, um, more people join to watch um, the, the thing. Because we do last minute live streams, we don't really announce it really that long in advance. Uh, whereas um, the ones that you see on talk or other channels, they, they've scheduled it like 12 hours in advance and still nobody cares. <laughs> so apparently some people don't believe the story about talk TV. Please stop with the clickbaiting. Do not go down the rabbit hole. You are better than that. Okay, let me just prove you again. Every time we get challenged about the so-called clickbait, I have to explain the uh, simplicity of the English language. Talk TV are quitting the uh, what they call linear TV, the, uh, their Ofcom license platform on television, and they are trying to copy us by coming on to online streaming. They've been coming to me for advice and others as well. Uh, they think they can actually find a way to beat us, or actually at least reach us. It's not happening. We managed to find a way. We, I didn't do this to defeat the mainstream media. I did it to actually do what they're not doing. It just happened to be that they became collateral damage. So if you think that's clickbait, I'm not the problem. <laughs> Laura says, please don't forget about us when you're a billionaire, Maya. <laughs> do you think with my uh, drinking habits, I, I, I'm not going to have enough money to save? <laughs> because you will be a huge success when you tell the truth. So everything... Um, I've been earning or from from the adverts on YouTube and you guys and everything else and going forward as well with the subscriptions the membership unfortunately almost none of it is going to me <laughs> everything's going back to the investing in the actual platform which means for a long time I'm still gonna be stuck in this tiny flat instead of having a mansion but that's not why I do it anyway the, the, the whole point of this is uh, to actually create a good sexy platform for all the freedom fighters uh, we got uh, speaking of freedom fighters we have Paul Thorpe in the live chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Thorpe. Keep up the great work, uh, my, uh, Paul says. Uh, um, Paul's also a good freedom fighter, of course. Uh, uh, we're going to do things together. That sounded bad. Sounded better in my head. <laughs> we're going to do things together. <laughs> AFC Man UK says, it would be good to give uh, Tommy Robinson a platform on 2CTV Plus. And maybe a show. Uh, well, so, uh, well, the, the team that we have and the person actually helping me with the platform, we're also working with Tommy. Uh, because he has his own plans and everything else um he has yeah i can't really give you the information obviously he will be making some announcements and um, soon and um, everyone is going to be aiming to actually focus on independent media regardless of the biases it's not really about bias or not being biased it's about the fact that you just have to have your voice without being restricted we'll be helping them anyway there will be a few others as well um i really want to leak some information i can't <laughs> damn you ndas um, but soon you're going to find out within the next um, three weeks, maximum, probably four weeks. Uh, I'll give you guys, I'll come to you guys from the new studios and everything else and the new shows. Hopefully they'll be sexy enough for you guys to actually join us, join our media revolution, become a member and become a subscriber there as well. <clears throat> the mainstream media been messed up for a long time. Remember when the New York Times tried covering up the undefending adults? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the good days of uh, investigative journalism has also just gone out of the window from those guys. Because if you're a good investigative journalist, you go to your editor in one of these newspapers, say, I have this story. I want to do, I want to dig deep and do some research. They say, no, it's not a priority. Go focus on Donald Trump, for example. That's what happens. <laughs> Welsh Dragon responds to the other person. Why would you be here watching if every video is clickbait? Sad or get the whole point of it is, you take the bait, you say the video clickbait, you click on it, you've taken the bait, <laughs> Why? and then you get upset. <laughs> uh, also, the, the, the word clickbait is, uh, it, it has different meanings now, because the, the, the true definition of it, baiting, getting someone to actually click on it, the hook, I, if you say it as a hook, that's a good thing. But clickbait, if you directly lie, for example, the, 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 the trolling clickbait is essentially saying, I don't know, in the title, I'm dying. And then you, you start the video and say, oh, I just heard the best joke. 
I'm dying of laughter. That that is not really true, is it? You're not actually dying. Um, but of course, uh, creating a the hook and a spin in the title to get people to click. That's the whole point. Newspapers have been doing it for decades and decades. Have you not seen the newspaper front pages headlines? <laughs> um, Melbourne says, I have a suggestion for your George Galloway problem. <laughs> have you ever heard of Jimmy Hoffa? Yes, I have. Actually, speaking of that, not going to talk about Hoffa. George Galloway and his supporters are having a bit of a difficult day today because a video came out from a few years back from George Galloway. Do you remember the lockdown days? I don't know if you guys remember. We had the lockdown. Well, we had a number of lockdowns. Do you remember there were a number of people who were pro-freedom fighting against lockdowns, including 2CTV? Do you remember all these anti-establishment people, anti-globalists? People like George Galloway. What was he doing during the lockdown? Oh, well, the video just came out uh, yesterday, showed, uh, obviously, as I remember, George Galloway uh, was advocating not just for lockdowns, for Chinese Communist Party style lockdowns, authoritarian lockdowns. So all his supporters are now having a bit of a meltdown, saying, oh no, what did we do? One of them was actually Majid Nawaz. <laughs> Majid Nawaz is also pro-Palestinian and all that. Uh, but he you know, claims to be very much anti-globalist establishment. He posted on X, if you want to go check out his tweet, saying, oh no, you messed up now, George. Yeah, but he said that a few years ago. How did you not know? <laughs> They've only just discovered what George Galloway has been saying. He, he doesn't like freedom. He's against the Western globalists because he's in favor of authoritarian Eastern globalists. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for your support saying uh, we'll take you to Wabbit. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Wabbit. The Wabbit. Stop saying Wabbit. To the studio. Actually, we have been discussing to give uh, Bun Bun his own corner. Probably sometimes even co-host the show. Uh, maybe. Why not? We might have just have a little litter tray thing for him in the corner just run around maybe be the office manager uh, another support from laurie have a sip of whiskey <laughs> sorry it's not a lot that 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 two pounds is literally a sip yeah i'll do that <laughs> i'm actually going to um the free speech union anniversary party event thing which is actually going to be a good opportunity for me to talk to my good friend toby young because uh, i want to talk to him about uh the clash recently between tommy robinson and free speech union if you haven't seen that video we actually did a video on it recently uh, they didn't allow him to apply for the premium membership, whatever they call it, the high tier membership, because they didn't want to be associated with Tommy, the free speech union. I know. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about that to them as well. Um, and of course, free drinks. Uh, so <laughs> support from BJ saying, don't ever change Maya. I look forward to your new app. That the app's going to take a while. Don't, don't wait for that. <laughs> but the website, of course. Um, anyway, uh, let me tell you what we're going to do today. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about the Jews. <laughs> of course, we're going to talk about the Jews. <laughs> Every day is about the Jews. Uh, so we're going to talk about actually a brave British Jew in London that single-handedly took on a mob of Islamists in the middle of London. There's a brilliant video. We're going to talk about that later. And the so-called Palestinian of Philistines and protesters decided to have now gone into targeting supermarkets like Tesco in London as well. And the latest update from... The fatherland, Germany, because the Germans have decided to submit to Islam. It was about time. It was, <laughs> I'm not even surprised anymore because Ramadan is here, apparently. I don't know. If it, is it already here? I don't know how it works. But the month of Ramadan is here and uh, they're, they're doing things. They're doing things in Germany. Don't forget, join us. Join the dark side. 13th of March, 7 p.m. Manchester City Centre, almost next to Piccadilly Station. Party, event, we're going to talk, we're going to have special guests, I'm going to be there, because it's my party, the link is in the description, book your tickets now, don't forget, don't just bookmark it, just book it now, I need to know the numbers, thank you so much for watching, I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.